Hi everyone, I'm Yasiru Bandar from Melan Sports. So right now I'm at the R Premadasa Stadium and by this time tomorrow, definitely this place will be like a Colosseum in Rome. These, all these stadiums will be houseful and it will be packed with so many spectators, so many electrified, enthusiastic spectators. It's simply because tomorrow is going to be the big game, the finals of the Asia Cup 2023. Sri Lanka is going to lock their horns with India. So it's definitely going to be a brilliant and a super game before the uh, World Cup, uh, which will take place in a month's time. So uh, let me come towards the teams. And today I'm just planning to speak about the ground conditions and also about the teams and their approaches. So it's going to be uh, a quite interesting game tomorrow. Speaking about the ground staff, absolutely the ground staff have done a tremendous job. It's because we all know how the adverse weather uh, affected this particular Asia Cup 2023 because the majority of the games were played in Sri Lanka. So kudos to all the ground staff and the groundsmen. They have done a tremendous job. So uh, hopefully now, uh, of course, I don't have the access to uh, go towards the pitch because uh, it's prior to the game. So let's have a basic look about the outfield because they have a concerns about the wet outfield and uh, the game. Certain games were uh, delayed due to wet outfield. So uh, coming down, the surface is absolutely absolutely uh, dry and it's hard and uh, I think it's simply because yesterday also we didn't have any uh, big interruptions and uh, the grounds and uh, the covers are off and uh, there's a beam of sunlight right now above the Al Premadasa and also uh, there are no clouds as well let's hope uh, tomorrow also we'll have the same sort of a weather to have a decent uh, games play so uh, the ground will be good and also I think uh, the pitch also uh, also, the pitch is being opened and you can simply see the ground staff working on the uh, pitch. So, uh, everything would be fine and also the, we can expect a certain, certainly a dry pitch uh, rather than the other days. So, uh, let's hope uh, we'll have a full day's play. So, coming into the Sri Lankan camp, there is one bad news. It's simply because uh, Mahish Dikshana has been ruled out uh, just before the final. It's quite a big blow. It's simply because Mahish Dikshana led the troops and he was the archer who was leading the bowling attack of Sri Lanka. Uh, so unfortunately we have lost him and also the replacement is uh, Sahan Nara Chige. So I think that it would be a great opportunity to chip in on the biggest occasion and to prove himself uh, that what he is capable of. Actually when we look at the past, many of these players, many, many of these uh, debutants and also these inexperienced players they have done, they have chipped in in these biggest occasions and they have proved themselves uh, Brilliant. And also, uh, the other advantage is Sahan Narachige hasn't been read by the Indian batters. So, definitely, there will be a positivity out of the uh, negativity. So, that is the silver line in the dark cloud. Sahan Narachige, it has been unnoticed because simply Indians might be much more comfortable uh, with uh, Mahish Dikshan. It's because with the IPL franchise, a lot of the players have read him and also know him. But uh, when Sahan Narachige comes into the play, there will be always that doubt and hesitance of the Indian batters. So coming into Sri Lankan batting, uh, there were many issues raised. It's simply because the uh, top order was not firing and also the middle order was struggling at the uh, beginning of the series. But uh, if you look at the Pakistan game, and it was absolutely great. Uh, Kusal Janit Pereira appearing for the very first time. He gave an electrifying start uh, at the very beginning, but unfortunately he was run out. Uh, but let's hope that he can carry on that momentum, carry on that positivity to the big final and make some serious impact against the Indian bowlers. So he is much more capable of doing a big thing, on, uh, especially in big occasions. And also uh, there were certain issues raised about the uh, middle order as well. And also special need to say Sadhir Sam Samar Vikrama and Kusal Mendes, they have been playing some brilliant cricket. Uh, and Kusal Mendes, he have... Uh, uh, two 90s in this particular series, so he is in some brilliant mix. So let's hope that Kuzal Mendes will carry on that momentum because all the batters need to regroup and they need to deliver uh, their level best on this biggest game. And especially need to say uh, there are certain small issues that I figure out. So speaking about the pitch, uh, the R Premadasa pitch was relayed recently and the clay needs certain bit of time to season itself. But still we can see there are awkward bounces and also uh, we experienced during the LPL as well. There were um, two pace uh, surfaces uh, offered to certain games. So definitely, under, especially if you are chasing down, uh, it won't be a right thing to go for the glory shot. 
uh, or else uh, just trying to uh, get that 6-0-4. But if you recap the Pakistani game, you can remember what Kuzal Mendes and uh, Sadir Samana Vikram did. They simply worked the ball and they kept on the momentum going on and uh, they simply made the uh, scoreboard ticking on. So I think then, of course, when that happens in the top order and uh, in the opening stand, the pressure would be not that high to the lower middle order and the middle order. So uh, even though if we have a few wickets being lost, there won't be that sort of a pressure of scoring. So coming into the uh, pitch again, tomorrow's game, it would be, I, I reckon, whoever the team, uh, they bat first, uh, if, they, if they can manage about 260 to 270, that would be a match winning total. So let me speak about the Indian team. So yesterday's game, Bangladesh managed to pull out the game out of nowhere. But uh, don't forget, India rested their biggest firing cannons yesterday. Players like Virat Kohli uh, didn't play the game, so definitely they wanted a proper rest. And also, uh, the interesting fact is they didn't take the uh, final practice session today at the R. Premadasa Stadium. Uh, simply, they're giving the hint they need a proper rest be before this uh, big event. So, uh, and I also need to say, yesterday's uh, inning, special inning by Subman Gill, what a gem of an inning was it and what a tremendous effort was that under the lights because playing such an inning under the lights in our Premadasa, it's not that easy. So, uh, these are the risk factors for uh, the uh, Sri Lankans. Uh, Sri Lankan bowlers, they definitely they are coming without Mahesh Dikshana and they definitely need to go after the Indian team to hunt down the wickets as soon as possible, to restrict them as soon as possible because don't, don't forget, these players are IPL players, most of them have played IPL and they know exactly do and they simply know what they're doing so it would be definitely challenging for the Sri Lankan bowlers so the best thing is to Snatch them, go after them, hunt the wickets, then they will be okay. And uh, especially, need to speak about the toss as well. Toss is going to be vital again. Uh, whoever the team, though, the, though we didn't experience any sort of rain in the past couple of days, definitely whoever the team wins the toss, I reckon uh, they have to have a bat first and post a total. Something above uh, 265. Uh, they, they will have a better chance of winning at least 60% of advantage. So, signing off, stay tuned with us. Yasiru Bandara from LN Sports.